How is everyone doing today? And in this video, we are going to be showcasing off our brand new unit that is coming in version 2.3, and that is going to be Firefly. And I am super excited to showcase her. We're going to do a really, really quick summary of how her kit works and then go straight into showcasing her because she is by far one of my favorite units, not only because in gameplay, but animations as well. But she's just overall a complete unit in what I would think a break DPS would be. But before we get into all that, I do have to preface one thing that this is not fully indicative of the final product and that this is on the content creator experience server. So there may be some differences by the time this hits live release. And also make sure you leave a like, comment, sub, all that different type of stuff. And let me know how excited you are for Firefly. But yes, we are going to be looking at Firefly and what she does. Now, I do want to preface that this Firefly is very, and I mean very minimally invested. We are talking about a S4 because you should have S5 because you should have been doing simulated universe all this time. But S4 follow on Aeon. And not only that, we also are rocking some very bare bone relics. Now we are rocking her signature relics, which are going to be the break effect set relics. And not only that, also the planar ornaments that are dedicated for Firefly herself. And to be honest, the only way you need to build her is straight up speed and attack. Break effect characters are by far some of the easiest characters to try and build out and all you need is speed, break effect, and attack. That's all you need and that's all for Firefly specifically though. So we are going to be looking at her on her brand new relic set. We are going to be seeing that we have some speed, some break effect, and this is a little bit true for some of the other pieces. This one just has break effect and a little bit of attack. This one has a little bit of break effect and an attack main stat. We have speed right here with break effect. And then not only that, we have some break effect here with some attack as well and break effect at the end right here. So there are some really, I guess you could say, very minimally invested portions of this character. But the reason I say this is because she is going to be putting some absolute work, especially with the team we're bringing her with today, which is definitely going to be with Ruan Mei, Harmony MC, and Gallagher. But what better way to explain all this than to be in the showcase itself? Now that we are here in the showcase, I'm going to be taking Firefly in with one of her better teams, which is going to be Ruan Mei, Trailblazer, and Gallagher. Gallagher is here for the break damage increase and also sustaining. Trailblazer is here for the super break and also the break effect buff we get from the ultimate. And then not only that, Ruan Mei is here to be Ruan Mei, one of the more busted supports, helping out with break. So we're going to be bringing these into the battle. So Trailblazer is going to go ahead and Technique. Ruame is going to go ahead and Technique. And then Firefly is going to use hers, which hers is actually really good. She's going to go into the air, come back down. She's going to implant everyone with Fire Implant, which is absolutely insane that she does that. This is overly beneficial for someone like Firefly, who's able to do AoE damage and also make sure that everyone, no matter what, is going to be having that weakness on and this happens every time the wave happens which in my opinion i think this is just super strong not only that she also has the implant on her ultimate so you basically constantly have this implant in something that blue hill doesn't have 100 percent of the time but firefly makes sure she has a guarantee no matter what so the cool thing about her skill when she's not in her ultimate is that it actually gives you 60 percent of your ultimate so right now we are around is 60 percent ish right now we are going to probably over cap but using her skill once puts us automatically into having an ult. And using her ult actually puts us at the top of the action line, which we're gonna pop in a quick second. I do wanna let Harmony Trailblazer use her skill first, which she does have some Eidolons to be able to make it so that she can get to her ultimate with one skill. And this is very important because if you use this and you have the super break already up, she gets to do more damage, she gets more break effect, she's able to get a lot of benefits from having Harmony MC's ultimate up. Now going ahead and basic attacking with Gallagher so that we can whittle down the shield a little bit. And we are wasting this Trotter buff, which is kind of important and super, super cracked out for this MOC because this does give break effect and also attack percentage when you defeat the Trotter and an extra turn. I think this is super overtuned for the break effect characters, um, which are Boo Hill and also Firefly. But I guess it's a good thing that we got to waste the Trotter buff because that would have made Firefly a little bit too busted. But now let's go ahead and use the basic attack with the uh, Gallagher. And then we're going to go ahead and pop Firefly's ultimate, which allows us to advance ourselves forward to the top of the list and then go ahead and start doing some damage, which we've already done Gallagher's ultimate for the extra damage and also the super break from Harmony MC. Now, the real cool thing I want to talk about really quickly before we start attacking is that, yes, we are on Fall of an Aeon just to make sure that I show that again. And then not only that, for every attack percentage that's above a certain amount, we do get some break effect as well, which is really, really nice. And then not only that, when it comes to her skill, 
She's going to be able to implant fire weakness. She's going to be able to do AOE damage. So this is overall a really strong thing to have for her and just overall making it so much easier to take down multiple enemies at the same time. And then not only that, through her ultimate, when it comes to her traces and you have a certain amount of a break effect, going from 200% to 360% of break effect allows you to convert what you would have done in toughness damage into super break. So she has her own innate super break in her, which I think is very strong for a break DPS to have. And you don't have to rely on someone like Harmony MC. Now bringing Harmony MC actually allows her to do a lot more damage in super break because it adds together if I'm not wrong. But having it innately within your own kit, actually super good. That means you're not guaranteed or you need to have Harmony MC and opens up some more routes for her later down the line when we showcase more characters. So go ahead and start you know, actually doing damage with Firefly. We're gonna go ahead and do a skill in the middle. This should basically devastate everyone with 320,000 going on to her name, which is actually super strong. And as you can see at the bottom of the action line, we do see that we have the combustion state. When this does come up, this will end Firefly's ultimate. So you wanna get as many actions as possible and Firefly gets to advance herself forward with their skill, which is actually super cool. So we're gonna go ahead and do a basic with Ruan Mei giving us the ultimate, giving us a fat ton of boost for Firefly. And then Firefly gets to come in here and do another skill and do some absolute damage again. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, I love the way that looks at 384k. Holy crap, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> and remember, we're on Fall of Neon with very minimally invested relics. What in the world are we looking at? And this is why having her as an AoE unit for break makes her so so freaking good and not only that her technique is rapidly implanting fire no matter what even if these guys didn't have it innately now she's able to do stupid stuff like this or she's able to break everyone and also benefit from the super break that we're getting as well which you're about to see and we're about to do some massive damage from 60 percent to 13 with 655k with fall of an aeon imagine with their signature that is insanity that we're getting this many numbers with how they are right now. Now, we're probably going to lose our combustion state when it comes to her next turn. Because I'm pretty sure we might KO with these next few attacks with the Super Break active. But I'm not 100% sure. Uh, 2%, 1%, and this should definitely take out the rest. That's zero. Now we're back in. But the problem is we might get CC'd for Firefly. We potentially could get CC'd. That's exactly what they're trying to do. I would love if they did it. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I hope they choose someone else because that will definitely make it a lot harder for us to do what we need to do. Okay, we're doing good so far. We're still in zero cycles, which is really nice. Shows that she has some absolute power towards her. And this boss actually does help a little bit with Firefly's damage because they do share a toughness bar and health in total. So it does help her with what damage she's doing. So we're going to go ahead, do a basic with our Gallagher. Taking out a lot of the shield using the skill, and she's doing some absolutely massive toughness damage, which is insane, which when she's in her ultimate, she does increase how much she takes down. So this overall allows us to be able to pop them really quickly and get that super break damage in really fast. So as you see, the weakness break efficiency is increased by 50%, and that is overall helping us a crap ton, and she also increases her speed when she's in her ultimate. So this is gonna allow us to do another insane amount of damage. Gonna go ahead, boom, 52% off, the bat and she still gets to go again and do more damage probably ko it <laughs> firefly is cracked out we just zero cycled mlt 12 although the turbulence is kind of cracked out for her when it comes to giving her attack percentage and break effect her being able to do that with fall of an aeon and also very very minimally invested relics and yes, she's E0, just for you all to know. Yes, she is E0. <laughs> this is absolutely insanity. We only have a couple of speed here, some break effect there. Some of these relics do have an okay amount of break effect. You definitely can get way more, and the speed could definitely be way higher. She does give herself 60 speed on top of what she has already when she's in her ultimate. So there are certain checkpoints that you can hit to allow her to act even more, giving you even more damage and being able to abuse what Super Break is allowed to be given with not only Harmony Trailblazer delaying characters, but also Ruan Mei delaying characters. And that will allow you to do so much more damage and being able to crack out on that and be able to give her the stats that she really needs or even popping on something like a signature light cone 
they're able to do some nasty work especially working around how she can advance herself forward with her skill advance herself forward with her ultimate she has a lot of ways to abuse the action value and give you a lot more bang for your buck when it comes to how many times she's able to act before her ultimate leaves and as you saw we kept her ultimate the whole entire match which gave her so much in order to be able to do as much damage as possible, especially when you're dealing with a multiple target scenario, which I think she just overall, in my opinion, is a very complete and very good break DPS. She's able to do AOE so she can deal with multiple characters. She has implant on her technique and she also forces implant on her ultimate through her skill every time she does it. I think that's very strong and something really, really necessary for a lot of break DPSs to have. And that's why Boo Hill's in a situation that he's in, although he does absurd damage with single target. I do think Firefly having that AoE, Firefly having force implant on almost everything, her having her own super break damage, her being able to increase her own speed, it opens up a lot more for her when it comes to her teammates than many other characters have at the current moment. I think it's a really good thing, especially for Firefly. She is a super fun character. Cannot wait to get my hands on her, and y'all should expect some more showcases in the next few coming days. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. Always the end of the video. Let me go. Let me know what y'all guys think about Firefly. How fun does she look? Are y'all pulling all of that? Thank you guys so much for watching. See y'all in the next one. And peace.